Okay, in this video, what I want to take a look at is how do we go about adding content to our pages. So what I've done so far is I've created my master page and I've created the different images. So if we come on in and we double click, we can see we have the header, we have the footer, we have the area where we want the content, and we have our nav bar. So now that we want to add some content. So again, we're going to come back to plan. And I'm going to actually start with my home page. So I'm going to double click my home page and I can add text. I can add images, whatever it is that I'd like to do. So let's say that I wanted to add a little bit of about text. Again, what I could do is I could come on in. I could grab the T for type. I could draw a text box and I could write, I could begin to write welcome to darn stitch. Okay, all right, so now we have it in our text box. We can move this around. We can place it where we would like for it to be, wherever that might be. We can come on in, we can change the font. We can make it larger if we'd like to. We can, I'm gonna come on in, I'm gonna actually stick with Georgia, okay? And I can pull this out so it's on the same line. So again, we have a lot of different options to work with. Okay, All right, so that is our text box. Now, let's say that I wanted to add an image. Well, so um, this image right here, this again is our image box. Um, we could also add a fill. So let's say that behind Welcome to Darn Stitch, I wanted to put a fill. So I could do that, right? I could come on in, I could click this, I could add a fill. So I can come on in, click, pick a color, Kind of got a purple color, that's interesting. Um, now, the problem is, as I look at this, I'm thinking, hmm, well, it's in front of that. I don't want that to happen. So what I could do, if that's the case, again, come on in. I can open up my layers, wherever they may be, window, layers, and they're here somewhere. There they are. And I can see all this info right in here. So I'm going to take this, and I can put it underneath. So when we look at our layers, whatever is below is is underneath okay so again now let's take a look at this fill box for a minute as I look at this I might actually want to change the color of the type if I want to change the color of the type again I grab my T and I can come on in and uh, now that I have that color you know, I'm deciding I'm going to go much lighter even lighter And, you know, we'll leave it like that. Might even change it a little bit. Now, let's say that I want to actually work with my fill, too. I can do that, which is really pretty awesome. I can select it, and I have these different options for my effects. I can click onto this little one right here, and I can see that I can change the opacity, which I've already done. I can add a shadow if I'd like to. And I can also have a, a glow. Voila, options, options. And I could add a bevel edge if I'd like to, so it looks more like a button. Okay, so we just took a look at, you know, creating our button, um, creating a fill, working with type. Thanks so much.